All right, let's talk. Because while everyone in Silicon Valley is absolutely losing their minds teaching robots how to make a better latte, and don't get me wrong, that's cool. Another global superpower is teaching them Kung Fu. Yeah, I know, it sounds like a bad sci-fi movie pitch, a cliche. But in this absolutely insane, multi-trillion dollar race for AI and robotics dominance, the line between a movie script and next year's reality is getting, well, it's getting blurry. Terrifyingly blurry. For the last few years, we've all been hooked on the highlight reels from Western robotics. We see Boston Dynamics Atlas doing parkour. We see figure AI's robot chatting with OpenAI, and it's incredible stuff. The narrative we've been fed, the one we've all bought into, is about assistance, convenience. These are helper bots. They're designed to work for us, to fold our laundry, to work on an assembly line. But you have to understand, that's only half the story. Because across the Pacific, a completely different narrative is emerging from China. A new generation of humanoid robots is emerging, and the speed at which they're evolving is just staggering. They are faster, more agile, and frankly, they are more aggressive than anything we're publicly seeing from the US. And when you look, really look, at what they're being trained for, it has almost nothing to do with helping in the kitchen. So the question is no longer if we're getting humanoid robots. The real question, the one we need to be asking right now, is what are they being built for? Is this just two different go-to-market strategies, a different business plan? Or are we witnessing a fundamental split in the very purpose of robotics? A split that could define the balance of power for the next hundred years. Today, we're cutting through the hype. We're looking at the hard evidence, the raw footage coming out of China's top labs. We're gonna put it side by side with what's happening in the West and connect the dots. Because this isn't about some far off future. This is happening right now, and we need to get our heads around it before it's too late. Okay, so to really get what's happening, you have to see the raw physicality. For years, the gold standard, the undisputed champ of dynamic robots has been Boston Dynamics. Their videos go viral for a reason, but their movements, as amazing as they are, always feel like a performance, a choreographed, almost playful dance. Now, look at this. This is from a company called Unitry Robotics. It's a few years old, but it's the perfect starting point. And I want you to watch not just what the robot does, but the feel of the interaction. This isn't a demo, it's a drill. Did you see that? Let's be clear, this isn't a machine running a pre-programmed dance routine. This is a machine learning the fundamentals of combat. It's processing a threat in real time, calculating a defensive move, and launching a counterattack. The goal here isn't showing off locomotion, it's demonstrating a reaction to hostility. That right there? That's a paradigm shift. What you are looking at is a machine that's been trained on a massive fire hose of human motion data, and now it can replicate those movements with, well, with terrifying precision. This isn't about the hardware anymore. It's about the AI brain inside that hardware, a brain being fed a steady diet of combat and acrobatics. And here's the thing. This lines up perfectly with China's stated national strategy of military civil fusion. It's an official policy. Beijing has mandated that any tech advance in the private sector must be available to modernize the people's army. So when a state-linked lab like BIG AI builds a bot with these skills, it is just naive to think it's only for commercial use. They are building platforms, versatile, bipedal platforms whose ultimate purpose is by definition, dual use. While the West is stuck in committees debating the ethics of autonomous weapons, China's just building the bodies they will one day inhabit. But physical power, as wild as it is, is only one side of the coin. The other side, and this might be even chilling, is what's happening with social interaction. Because the real Terminator scenario, the one that keeps people up at night, isn't just a machine that can fight, it's one that can deceive, that can infiltrate and manipulate. A machine that can pass for one of us. 
The next two clips are from a different corner of their ecosystem. They're not full robots, just heads, but they show a different kind of progress, a direct assault on the uncanny valley. I want you to watch the micro expressions, the tiny, almost invisible movements that your subconscious brain uses to read trust and emotion in another person. See the asymmetry, the slight lag in one eyelid, the way the gaze doesn't just snap to a point, but sort of drifts and settles. Those are imperfections, the little glitches that signal biological life, and they are programming them into a machine. This isn't about function, it's about creating the illusion of a soul. Now look at this next one. So why does this matter so much? Because this is the mastery of the human interface. A machine that can perfectly mimic human emotion is a machine that can earn your trust. It can be a companion, a therapist, a caregiver, or it can be a spy, an interrogator, a social engineering tool with power we can't even comprehend. Imagine a government deploying millions of these as online avatars, as customer service agents, all gathering data, all shaping opinion, all operating with the subtlety you could never, ever detect. This is the second pillar of the strategy. It's not just physical dominance, it's social mastery. They're building machines that can overpower you and machines that can persuade you. So what happens when you put it all together? This brings us back to Unitree, to their latest and greatest, the H1 Humanoid. And get this, these next clips are their own promo videos. They are proudly stating this is all real time, not sped up, not CGI. This is what their top of the line bot can do right now. The stability is just breathtaking. The speed over seven miles per hour is unprecedented for a commercially available humanoid. The ability to carry a load, to get up from any position, to mimic complex movements. This is the fusion of everything we've seen. It has the agility of the early prototypes, but now it's in a robust, powerful, human-sized body. But it's this next clip. Their extreme testing footage that should make the hair on your arms stand up. And I want you to contrast this with the polished, sterile lab videos we get from Boston Dynamics. This doesn't look like a demo. This looks like a training exercise for a soldier. The West is building AI assistants. China is building AI agents. The difference is subtle, but it is everything. An assistant helps you with a task. An agent is a proxy that can act on your behalf with autonomy in the real world. Look, the classic Skynet scenario, a rogue AI trying to wipe out humanity, is still science fiction for now. But a far more realistic near-term scenario is a nation state using this tech for targeted geopolitical goals, autonomous robotic soldiers that don't feel fear or fatigue lifelike androids used for espionage and infiltration on a scale we've never seen before. So the final question isn't whether we're building Skynet. The real question is this. When one of the world's great powers is laser focused on building autonomous agents capable of combat, while the other is focused on building assistants that can make coffee, who's preparing for the future? And more importantly, are we? If this gave you a new way to look at the robotics race, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives. This is a big one and I really want to know your take. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's talk about it.